Dr. Keene said, whatever affects one directly affects all indirectly. I can never be what I ought to be unless you are what you ought to be. This is the interrelated structure of reality. Your life has significance. Whatever your age, skin color, or social economic status, you matter. Since I'm young, relative to the rest of the people in the audience, I would like to focus on how our age does not define our significance. First, I would like to talk about adults. An adult of great significance is Martin Luther King Jr. He made a difference to the world by proclaiming that all are created equal and therefore should be treated equally. He thought that no one should be judged by their skin color, socioeconomic status, age, or any other factor. Now let's talk about people who are a little bit older. Sometimes people think that once you're like past 70, that you can't make a difference in the world. Well, guess how old Benjamin Franklin was when he invented bifocals? He was 78 years old. George Washington Carver was born a slave, yet later enrolled as the first black student at Simpson College in Iowa. Carver said, the kind of people at Simpson College made me believe I was a human being. He became a leading agricultural scientist. Guess how old he was when he worked with the United States Department of Agriculture? He was in his 70s. Ben Franklin and Dr. Carver prove that age does not define nor limit our significance. Now, let's talk about kids like me. An example of a kid improving the world is Easton LaChapelle. In middle school, he built a prosthetic arm out of Legos. He learned of a little girl with a prosthetic arm that cost $80,000. He made his own prosthetic arms that work better and cost only $350 to make. In his 20s now, he is CEO of his own prosthetic company. Speaking of Legos, I have a story. Suppose a boy decides to build a Lego replica of the Dr. King Memorial. Meanwhile, his mom is vacuuming and sees a Lego piece. It is so small, she believes it's insignificant and vacuums it up. Later, the boy realizes he is missing the one special piece that finished Dr. King's nose. The mom confesses, well son, I vacuumed it up. It was so small, I thought it didn't matter. Like the story about the Legos, do you believe every piece, no matter its size, is significant? Then what about the smallest of humans? One example of a person who was once deemed insignificant is Tim Tebow. His mom, when pregnant with Tim, was told by her doctors that she would have to get an abortion or she would die. She refused and ended up surviving and gave birth to Tim, who became a quarterback, Heisman Trophy winner, and the creator of the Tim Tebow Foundation, which has helped more than 90,000 people with special needs in 2018, supports homeless orphans in six different countries, and runs a 30-bed hospital in the Philippines. Each of us matters. Everyone in the world matters because we were created for a purpose. Dr. King once said, not everybody can be famous, but everybody can be great because greatness is determined by service. You only need a heart full of grace and a soul generated by love. So I want to ask you, have you discovered your purpose? How will you be great? How will you serve the people in your life from the youngest to the oldest? Thank you.